for some action. Oh, some advice. What? Really got lucky tonight. Spidey here loses his share. Forty dollars. That's fifteen dollars locker and corner man. Five dollars shower and towel. Seven percent tax. Comes to seventeen twenty. You fought a good fight, Spider. Balboa, you get winner share. Sixty-five dollars. That's fifteen dollars locker and corner man. Five dollars shower and towel and seven percent tax. Comes to forty fifty-five. When do I fight again? Maybe two weeks. Give me a call. The doctor should be in about twenty minutes.
you there, huh? You should have seen me. You guys hungry? No? Here you go. Here you go. You want to see your friend Moby Dick, huh? Hey, don't Moby Dick. You miss me today or what? Huh? Huh? Here you go. Say hi. You know, if you guys could sing or dance, I wouldn't be doing this, you know? Hey, Dazzle don't have to know. 
Skid Row. I've been in that locker for six years and you put my stuff in a bag on Skid Row? Mickey tells me what to do. I gotta do it, right, Rock? Where is he? He's outside working with Dipper. He's in a bad mood. Oh, my. How you feel? What are you a doctor? 
here or something. What's your problem today? Never mind my problem. What's your problem? My problem is I've been talking to your man, Michael. I don't know how come I can put out of my lot. Because Dipper needed it. Dipper's a contender. He's a climber. Do you know what you are? What? A tomato. Yeah, let's face it. I run a business here, not a goddamn soup kitchen. Did you fight last night? Yeah. Did you win? Yeah, I won K1 a second. Yeah, who'd you fight? Spider oh, Rico. <laughs> He's a punk. You think everybody I fight is a punk? Well, ain't they? You got heart, but you'll fight like a goddamn ape. Nothing special about you, you never got your nose busted. Well, leave it that way. Nice and pretty, and what's left of your mind? Hey, you know, Mick, I think I'm gonna go take this team. You know why? Because I did real good last night. You should have seen me. Big team. You should have seen me, too. Hey, kid. You ever think about retiring? No. You think about it. Yeah. All right, time. Hey, hey, all right. Whoa. I did your locker, man. Start living, nobody's gonna 
I'll draw you. You know, tomorrow's Thanksgiving, you know that? Right? Come over and talk to her. Sure. Yeah. Tomorrow you come for some bird, right? Absolutely. I gotta go. From ten minutes late, she calls the house. You know, is planning. Poorly. I got Centennial bite with Mac Lee Green here in Philadelphia at the fabulous spectrum. Harry? You're speaking now of your much-publicized bicentennial play. That's right. This is going to be the greatest sporting event in the country's history. A gala occurrence with me beating Green like he committed a crime. Will you take a Still look be at that guy? The heavyweight championship I mean, of the world. fight is going to come from the pros. You know, we got today a jig clowns. On January 1st, the first major event in the country's oh. history. Jig clown. And in keeping with great events throughout the country's history, Apollo Creed will duplicate the cracking of the Liberty Bell by cracking Mac Lee Green. Okay. Oh, Apollo Creed a clown? Do you have any quick advice for your boxing? Stay in school and use your brain. Be a doctor, be a lawyer, carry a leather briefcase. Forget about sports as a profession. Sports make you grunt and smell. See, be a thinker, not a sticker. <laughs> okay, thanks a lot, Jim. Hey, Jerry Simpson. Craziest man is champion in the world. He took his best shot and become champ. What shot did you ever take? Well, I guess hey, Rocky, you're not happy with your life. That's nice. Me, I got a business going. I don't have to take no shots. No one having gone more than 12 right. rounds with him, and that was Jake Dale. Took last that off your business. So it's something. Want me to take a shot? All right. I'll take a shot. Mackley Green has suffered a severely cracked third metacarpal in his left hand. Of course, we can cancel the fight indefinitely if you're set on fighting Green. Hey, it ain't just Green. But what about all the time Apollo has invested? I believe we can find a solution. Solution nothing. Now, you better find me another rank contender. I mean, a flash jerkins. Don't play games with my client. Apollo's already done a million dollars worth of publicity, has made contractual obligations with 20 different organizations. He's not going to be embarrassed. Contacted Ernie Roman's manager. Ernie is fighting in France that same week. Then get me Buddy Shaw. Hell, he's ranked fifth. Went to California and gained 50 pounds. I get hold of every worthwhile contender, and they all say the same thing. Five weeks just isn't enough time to get into shape. Oh, shape nothing, man. They're free. 
Hell, they know everybody in the world's gonna see this fight, and none of them got a prayer whipping me. So they're making excuses so they don't have to be the chump to get whipped in front of the whole civilized world. All I can say is I'm a good promoter. I've promoted fights in every goddamn country in the world and have broken my ass over this. And I don't know what the hell else to do. I do. Without a ranked contender, what this fight is gonna need is a novelty. This is the land of opportunity, right? So Apollo Creed on January 1st gives a local underdog fighter an opportunity. A snow white underdog, and I'm gonna put his face on this poster with me. And I'll tell you why. Because I'm sentimental. And a lot of other people in this country are just as sentimental, and there's nothing they'd like better than to see Apollo Creed give a local Philadelphia boy a shot at the greatest title in the world on this country's biggest birthday. Now that's the way to see it. And that's the way it's gonna be. Apollo, I like it. Very American. It's very smart. <laughs> well, what is it? I want to check this thing out. You said. We got two yards from Snyder and a gram from Capaldi, right? No, no, no. Two yards from Capaldi and a gram from Snyder. Two okay, yards. Right two yards. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. Where's this guy going out with tomorrow night? Not Much think I hear things. A lot of canaries flying around the docks. I'm going to Apollo's sister. Hey, Brent. What? Who's your daughter? Jimmy daughter, she's shy, huh? I'll tell you what to do. Take her to the zoo. I hear Ray Dodds like to see him. There's a bum gotta say that. Right, back, back it up. I'll back it up. up. Come on. This buddy's in a bad mood. It's his process. Oh, he's always in a bad mood. You know I ought to count your blessings, buddy. You're still a healthy person. You know that? I don't like your face. I don't like your feet. Kiss my ass. Come on, your shoulders. Come on, relax. 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 He is. What are you trying to do? Crazy about the ears. Well, he doesn't like it. Yeah. Some guys, they just hate the for reason. You and your girl, Ed, you have a nice time. Yeah? Thanks. Hey, how'd you know her name? Don't think I had things. <laughs> what? What did I tell you? What'd you tell me? Take it to the zoo. What the hell are you Some more coffee, Mr. Green. No, thanks, Jimmy. What do you think about Billy Snow? Yeah. No, he's too old and dumb. Hey, the Bobby Judge, he's a good boy. No, man, I don't feel the heat from him. Joe Zach's a good prospect. Exactly what are you looking for, Apollo? This is what I'm looking for. The Italian Stallion. Rocky Balboa? Never heard of him. Look, it's the name, man. The Italian Stallion. The media will eat it up. Now, who discovered America? An Italian. What would be better than to get it on with one of his descendants? He's a southpaw. I don't want you messing around with southpaws. I need to do everything back. Southpaw, nothing. I've dropped in three. Apollo Creed meets the Italian Stallion. <laughs> Sounds like a damn monster movie. Hey, who are you doing with that bastard, huh? I used to be deadly at stickball. You sure your sister knows I'm coming, right? Well, very excited. Really swollen hands. Yeah. The joints from walking in, carrying meat in and out of freezer. Uh -huh. Plays hell on the joint. Maybe I ought to see a doctor. What do you think? I don't need a doctor. I need a different job. Yeah, a different job. What kind of turkey? I'm a big turkey or a small turkey? Guys hey. Tell them I'm a good man and nothing bothers me. I make a great collector. Bust yeah. the bones. Don't bother don't me. Don't bother you. Big turkey, right? Huh? Hey, gazzo has got to give me. Forget gazzo It's a bad job. You know what I mean? You got a match? You got a match? Go to him for me. As a, a favor. Yeah. Yeah. You know, last time I had a turkey, it was when they were having a $2 special, one and our dogs about three years ago. They asked me in a turtle, they had spam. What do you think? My sister knows I'm coming for sure, right? She's very excited. I'm old, no. Hey, will you forget about Gazzo, huh? I don't ask nobody twice. Don't ask nobody twice. Stay away, baby. Hey, your sister, you sure your sister knows I'm coming? Yeah, 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 she's very excited. Yeah. Holly, you're late. You called the hospital? She calls the hospital. Ten minutes late. Yo, how you doing? I told you she's very excited. Yeah, 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 she's very excited. Ye
very excited. Why did you tell me you were bringing it here? You look at me, I'm not ready for this. You can make a difference if you were. Look, he's a friend, and now he's taking you out. No, I can't. You're in the kitchen, and I want you out right now. I think maybe we're just early or something like that, you know? Yo! No! We're closed! What? I said we're closed! Yeah. Hey, listen, I'm gonna smooth this guy out here, so just wait here for a few minutes. I'll be right back, okay? We could go someplace else. No, it's else. okay, it's okay. Hey, listen, are you closed to the general public or you just closed everybody? You know what I mean? Hey, look, it's after 6 o'clock. It's Thanksgiving. That's why there's nobody here. And besides, you ain't supposed to be in here. So do me a favor and I'll stay here, huh? Would you do me a favor? Hey, come on, we're not operating. Station should go out and exercise once in a while, and ice skating is probably the best thing, you know what I mean? Yeah, so what do you want from me? 
Well, hey, I want you to do me a favor. You can see she ain't feeling too good, so if you could let her on the ice, I'd appreciate it. Only for a few minutes. Ten minutes, ten bucks. Ten bucks. How about eight? Eight bucks. Come on, it's Thanksgiving. All right, nine bucks, you got a deal. You have the ice to yourself. Ten bucks. Give her the plates. Aren't you skating? Nah, I ain't skating since I was 15. You know, that's when I started fighting. I was 15. Skating got bad for the ankles, you know? You're a pretty good skater, aren't you? <laughs> You know, like I always say before on the way over here, you know, fight used to be tossing me, but no more, you know? See, all I wanted to do out of fight was prove I was no bum that I had the stuff to make a good pro, you know? You never got the chance? Oh, hey, you know, I ain't crying about it because I still fight. I kind of do it like a hobby. See, I'll tell you what the trouble is. You see, I'm a southpaw. Southpaw? Oh, southpaw means you're left-handed, and southpaw throws your timing on, you see? Other guys throws their timing on, makes them look awkward. Nobody wants to look awkward. You know where southpaw came from? Nine huh? minutes! I'll tell you, a long time ago, there was this guy, maybe a couple hundred years ago, he was fighting in the, uh, he was fighting around, I think it was around Philadelphia, and his arm, he was left-handed, his arm was facing towards New Jersey, you see? And that's South. So then actually they call him South Paul, you see? South Paul, South Jersey, South Camden, South Paul. You know what I mean? I don't know, things probably worked out for the best, don't you think? Never got a chance, though, because you're left-handed, huh? Well, that's absolutely true, you know? Watch out, watch out. Um, ah, ah. Ah, I just dislocated my finger. Ah, look at that. Oh, no, 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 hey, wait, hey, hey, it ain't your fault, look. See, look, I had a, it's all, it's an old wound, you see that? Look, see, nothing, it bends like that. See, I originally done it, look, push the button. Bong, it works. No, it ain't your fault, look, I'm gonna show you something. Seven else. minutes. Yeah, I originally, I originally done it, I carry pictures of all my fights. I originally done it in the baby Crenshaw fight, you see that? Big baby's about the size of an airplane, I broke both my hands on his face. I lost that fight, but that's a nice picture, don't you think? See how it works there? Real nice. Uh, come on, you having a good time? I'll tell you, you can see I ain't too graceful, you know what I mean? I don't move well. But I'll tell you, I can really swat, you know what I mean? I can really hit hard. But I'm a southpaw, and nobody wants to fight no southpaw, you know what I mean? Huh? Woo! You know how I got started in fighting? Huh? No. Am I talking too loud? Three no. minutes! My father, he's a... Uh, oh, man. He was never too smart. He says to me, you weren't born much of a brain, you know, so uh, you better start using your body, right? So I've become a fighter. Oh. You know what I mean? <laughs> why, are you, why are you left? My mother, she said the opposite thing. What'd she say? What'd she say the opposite? She said you weren't born much of a body, so you better develop your brain. Did she say that? You! Hi! Can I ask you a question? Absolutely. Why do you want to fight? Because I can't sing or dance. Hey, yo. Don't fall. Don't fall. Hey, that was terrific. I'm pretty good at this. You like the way I skate? You know, the last fight I had, I had with this guy named Spider Rico. Yeah. He busted my head up there. You see that scar? I'll tell you, things get pretty rough in the ring. You know, some people are very shy by nature. You're very sharp by nature, you know. <laughs> I suppose. Hey, hey! The bum from the dock. Get a job, you bum! You know, some people think that being shy is a disease, you know, but it don't bother me none, you know. It don't bother me either. Why'd I bother bringing it up, huh? Because I'm dumb, that's why. I think we make a real sharp couple of coconuts. I'm dumb and you're shy. What do you think, huh? I don't understand why anybody would want to be a fighter. Hey, you gotta be a moron. You gotta be a moron to want to be a fighter, you know what I mean? It's a racket where you almost guaranteed end up a bum. I'll be a bum. Well, I'm at least half a bum, you know? And I'll tell you something. Worst thing about fighting is the morning after, you know? The morning after the I'll tell you, yeah, the morning after the fight, you're nothing but like a large wound, you know what I mean? Sometimes I'm, I'm, I got pains all over me. I feel like calling a taxi to take me from the bed into the bathroom. You know what I mean? Your hair hurts, your eyes hurt, your face is all busted up, your hands are swollen. You know, look at his face. 64 fights. Look at that nose. See that nose? That nose ain't never been broken. 64 fights. I had guys busted on it. I had guys chewing on it, twisting it, punching it. I mean, whack, boom. These guys are hitting my nose all the time. Never broke. I'm very proud of that. It's not rare. That's rare. Why do you do this? It hurts. 
What do you think? Corns. You can't sing a dance? Yeah, something like that. Something like that. Hey, you want to come inside? No, I got to go. Hey, come on. Hey, I got some animals. I got these rare, very rare animals inside. Come on. Come on. No, man. no, I got to go. Well, I got to go, too. I got to go to the bathroom. Come on. Come on. Hey, I got, hey, look at this face. Is that a face you can trust or what? Huh? Is it? Then I'll stick this face on a stamp. What do you think? Huh? Come on. Come on in. Yo. some music. Yo, Adrian. These are the exotic animals I was telling you about. These are my friends Cuff and Link. I sold them to you. Sure, I know you sold them to me. Remember you were working at that pet shop, huh? First day you was there and I came in and bought both these animals, huh? Sure, I remember that. I came in, I bought this bowl and I bought the, uh, bought the animals themselves, the food, the marbles that go on the bottom there. Remember in the mountain? Remember that mountain? I had to get rid of that mountain, though, because they kept falling over and flipping, you know what I mean? Yo, why don't you come on over here and sit down? Hmm? It's a nice couch, I don't know. There's big bugs in there, you know. It's safer over here. You want to sit down? Uh, these, these your parents? Yeah, that's both of them. Just you? Yeah, that's me when I was eight years old. That's the Italian style when he was a baby. Why don't you come on over and make yourself comfortable? Relax. Do you have a phone? No, I ain't got no phone. I had to pull, you know, because people calling all the time. And uh, who needs the aggravation, right? Interruptions. Who do you want to call? I want to let my brother know where I am. Why? I think you might be worried. Well, I'll call your brother if that's the problem. Yo, Paulie, your sister's with me. I'll call you back later. See ya. It's mad you don't like the room, do you? It's fine. Well, it's only temporary.
that's good, man. You come on down to the gym, man. We'll see if you get in shape. How's your hey. weight? Uh, we're gonna hey, Rock, how you doing, baby? Uh, uh, oh, hey, Mick was looking for you up there, man. For me? Yeah. You sure? Yeah, 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 yeah. He's looking for you, Jack. Get on up there and see him. Love you. Yeah. Hey, Rock, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, come on, man. You have a manager? Uh, no, just me. Rocky, I've got a proposition I'd like to make to you. A uh, sparring? Beg your pardon? Well, I just said I know you're looking for sparring partners, and I just want to say I'm very available, you know. I'm sure you are. Absolutely. Uh, sparring with the chair would be an honor, and you know what, Mr. Jerkins? What? I wouldn't take no cheap shots either. I'd really be a good sparring partner, you know. You don't understand me, Rocky. My proposition's this. Would you be interested in fighting Apollo Creed for the World Heavyweight Championship? No. Listen, Rocky. Apollo's seen you fight. He likes you. He wants to fight you. Well, it's just that you see, uh, like fighting clubs, you know. I'm really a ham and egg or this guy, he's the best, and uh, it wouldn't be such a good fight. But th thank you very much, you know. I appreciate it. More. Rocky? You believe that America is the land of opportunity? Yeah. Apollo Creed does. And he's going to prove it to the whole world by giving an unknown a shot at the title. And that unknown is you. He picked you, Rocky. Rocky, it's the chance of a lifetime. You can't pass it by. How do you like the city of brotherly love? Well, just being in Philadelphia makes me feel patriotic. Beautiful people in a beautiful city coming up to me on the street wishing me the best. I love my Philadelphia brothers and I'm proud to be an American. Apollo, Apollo Champ, Apollo. Yeah. Why did you agree to fight a man who has virtually no chance of winning? Look, if history proves one thing, American history proves that everybody's got a chance to win. Didn't you guys ever hear of Valley Forge or Bunker Hill? Uh, uh, Apollo, Apollo, Apollo. Yeah. Uh, it is a coincidence that you're fighting a white man on the most celebrated day in the country's history. I don't know about that. Is it a coincidence that he's fighting a black man on the most celebrated day in the country's history? Uh -oh. Right on. Oh, tell the truth, brother. Listen, right, Apollo, yeah. tell me, how do you feel about your challenger? How do I feel about it? Yeah. What do you mean? Come here, Rock. My main man. Rocky, ain't you Italian? Yeah, I'm Italian. Oh, well, now, what does that mean? That means if he can't fight... I bet he can cook. <laughs> do me a favor. As long as you punch out. Well, Rocky, how do you expect to fight Apollo Creed? Oh, uh, well, geez, you know, Creed's the best. Uh, I guess I'll have to do the best I can. Uh, tell me, Rocky, just between us, where did you get the name Italian Stallion? Oh, uh, I invented that uh, about eight years ago when I was eating dinner. Oh, Rocky, now your payday will be $150,000. Any comment? 
Uh, you you no. got no comment, Rocky, right? No. No comment. No. Right. No. Thank you, Rocky, oh, very wait, much. Wait. I just want to say hi to my girlfriend, okay? Uh, yeah. Yo, Adrian, it's me, Rocky. Look at this. Can you believe all this? <laughs> Even a microphone. Yeah, Rocky. didn't. <laughs> Thank you, Rocky. You Rocky. push him, man. Thank you, Rocky. Well, no matter he's making you out a fool, I sent him to you by January 1st. Take a cheap shot. Don't bother me, no. No, Rocky. I guess you'd be looking for people that help you out. Help what? If this man survives. Keep you living a clean life. I do, okay, you know. Need someone to help with the exercise and someone standing by with a towel or running errands, you know that. Hey, yo, Paul, who cared about me yesterday, huh? Nobody, so I, I just think I'm going to treat myself, you know? Well, such good people around to help. You don't have such a good chance. Einstein flunked out of school twice. Did so? Yeah. They told him was deaf, telling Kelly was blind. I think Rocky's got a good chance. Want me to get you beer, Polly? Hey, you looking to do a good deed? Keep out of my freaking life! Nothing. Did I say something? No. You didn't say nothing. It's all right. That's right. You didn't say nothing. Nothing at all. I gotta go. Where's the freaking pretzels? That stuff on TV didn't bother me none. Yeah. Listen, dude, the reason I brought you is because I, I want to know if you got any money for training expenses, huh? I got a few dollars. Two bucks from here. Put this in the glove. What's this? 500 bucks. I want you to buy that. You know, you ain't never had any luck. I think this time Lady Luck may be in your corner. What do you think? Baby. Baby. Hey, thanks for the money. It's okay, don't worry about it. Let's see. Hey, baby. What? You're in training, huh? Come on. Hey. Yo, Tony. What? You gonna show up at the fight? I'm sad. Hey, <laughs> hey. hey. <laughs> Is a manager. A 
manager, listen to me. I know, because I've been in this racket for 50 years. 50 years? 50 right? years, God, I've seen it all, all of it. Uh, you know what I've done? What? I have done it all. You should have seen me when I knocked a guinea Russell out of the ring, out of the goddamn ring. That's uh, September the 14th, 1923. And it was the same night that Furpo knocks Dempsey out of the ring. The same night, so who gets the publicity? Figure that out. Dempsey. That's right, but why? Because he was champ. No! Because he had a manager. I had nothing, man. I want to show you something. I want you to look at my face for a minute. Look, look at this. Uh, I got 21 stitches over this left eye. I got... 34 stitches over this eye. I, I, you know what? I had my nose busted 17 times. And the last time was when I fight with Sailor Mike. And I got that clip in here. A good fight. You want to read that? Well, it doesn't matter. Anyway, he put this vegetation on my ear. Ah, Rocky Marciano. You know, you kind of remind me of the rock. Think so. That's right. You move like him, you, and you got heart like he did. Yeah, I got heart, but I ain't got no locker doing it. Uh, anyway, you know, when I began in this business, kid, uh, I want to make a suggestion. Don't drink that piss before a fight. You know, no good for you. You don't mind my saying. Anyway, you know, when I started this racket, Bugs like us, we was treated like doll. For 10 bucks, you got to tear somebody's throat out. But I never had no management. You know, one time, this, this son of a bitch that I fought, you know, he, he put a nail right there. So the thumb, yeah, the glove. And he punched so many holes in my face, and I had this spit shooting out of my cheeks. Can you imagine that? Anyway, when I tell you what I looked like when I was uh, in my prime, I want you to look at some. Hey, look at that. Look at that. That's the way I looked. What these guys got at me. It's nice. Yeah. Take very good care of the picture, though. Well, I never had I never had no management. That's the trouble. But now I got all this knowledge. I got it up here. And I, I want to give it to you. I want to give you this knowledge. I want to take care of you. I want to make sure that all this shit that happened to me doesn't happen to you. You know what I mean? Yeah. The fight said. Hey, listen to me. I want to be your manager. You follow that, do you? The fight said I don't need no manager. But you can't buy what I'm going to give you. I mean, I've got pain and I've got experience. Well, I got pain, I've got experience too. Now, listen, kid. Hey, go, hey, Mick. What? Look, I need your help about 10 years ago, right? 10 years ago? Right. You never helped me, though. No. You didn't care. Well, if you wanted help, I say, if you wanted help, why didn't you ask? Why didn't you just ask me, kid? Look, I asked, but you never heard nothing. Well, I, <laughs> I uh, I'm 76 years old. And,
you got balance. You become a very dangerous place. You come okay. on. You're looking good, Mark. Thanks. Let's go. Yeah, That's yeah. it. That's it. Ernie. Yeah. Rock. Right. What? How about you give us your order? Get out of here! Don't you ever interrupt me while I'm conducting business. Move your little chicken ass. Listen, kid. You. You lay off that pet shop day. Women weaken legs. Yeah, but I really like this girl, you know? But let her train you! Okay, no more fooling around. Okay, I hit Women weak legs, huh? Yo, Rock, yo, Rocky. Yo. Yo. Yo, you look great. Really? Oh, yeah. Terrific. I mean, you're gonna be a heartbreak. You walk down the street breaking hearts the way you're looking. Very sharp. I got, I got another surprise for you. What? Hey, bud kids! Hey, bud kids! Come here, kid! Come here! Hey, to keep you company when you run! Oh, 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 oh,
and call the reporters? Yeah, it's in my old training schedule. Mom. Don't be mad at him. He's just trying to help. Oh, AJ, I ain't mad. It's just that uh, when reporters are around, I get out of joint because they take cheap shots and bowling knows that. And this baller, he keeps asking me for a job all the time, but he don't know nothing about fighting. Are you going to say anything to him? What to say? I just don't know what he wants from me. I don't want nothing from you. I don't want nothing from you. This ain't no charity case. Get out of my house. It's not just your house. You don't friend no more. Get out of my house, I just said. Don't talk to him like that. How do you get out of my house? Yo. It's cold outside, Polly. I don't want you missing, huh? And I don't raise you to go with this scumbum. Yeah, come on! Wanna hit on me? Come on! I'll break both your arms so they don't work for you. That's right, I'm not good enough to meet with Gazzo. Woo! That's what I think of Gazzo. Now you're a big shot fighter on the way up. You don't even throw a crumb to your friend Polly. When I go and get your meat every morning, you forgot that night I even give you my sister, too. Well, you can't we say that. I'm a pig. A pig gets you the best. I don't get married because of you. You can't live by yourself. I put you through the get out of you. You owe me. What? You owe me. You owe me. Why do I owe you? You're supposed to be good to me. Why do I owe you, Polly? Why do I owe you? I treat you good. I cook for you. I clean for you. I pick up your dirty clothes. I take care of you, Polly. I don't owe you nothing. And you made me feel like a loser.
Okay. What brings you here tonight? Mr. Jurgis, the post is wrong. What do you mean? Well, I'm wearing white pants with a red stripe. It doesn't really matter, does it? I'm sure you're gonna give us a great show. Try to get some rest, kid. Good night. so hard. Yeah, it don't matter. Because there was nobody before. Don't say that. Oh, come on, Adrian. It's true. I was nobody. That don't matter either, you know. Because I was 
thick. It really don't matter if I lose this fight. It really don't matter if this guy opens my head either. Because all I want to do is go the distance. Nobody's ever gone the distance with Queen. And if I can go that distance, you see, and that bell rings and I'm still standing. time in my life, you see, that I weren't just another bum from the neighborhood. Time, kid. That's all. I'll wait for you here. Well, how about I wait here and you fight, huh? Now, you're looking very great today, you know that? Hmm? I gotta go now, but, uh, don't you leave town, huh? Wish me luck. I'm gonna need it. Good luck. Say, Adrian, you don't think this rope here is too baggy, huh? Good luck. Don't leave town. Now I'd like to have you meet my colleague, Mike, working the fight with me, Stu Nehas. Thank you, Bill Baldwin. The electricity is all over the place tonight. It's Rocky Balboa. Hey, what the hell is that? I trained you to be a fighter and not a billboard. I'm doing it for a friend. Well, what do you get out of it? If only gets three grand, I get the rope. Shrewd. The story about tonight's fight, their style, their difference in style, you can quote a recent sports magazine which said could be the caveman against the cavalier. I notice a buzzing in the background now, Bill. Could be the challenge is getting ready to get into the ring. Okay! Hey, Get on my feet! Toss me $200! Oh, I, I gotta go, I gotta work. How's the road? A 50 to 1 underdog living a Cinderella story. He's captured people's imaginations all over the world. wonder, can he stand it? You know, the stamina and the skill to last the three rounds, because Las Vegas odds say no. Rocky Balboa climbing into the ring now. The Italian stallion. Some meat sign on the back of his robe there. Do you see what that was? Jamrock. There's a lot of noise coming from the background. You can go deaf with that noise. Yeah, the spotlight. see right back there. Is that the world heavyweight champion? The you know, three? he's in a, in a boat, riding in a boat. Is he supposed to be going to Washington? Obviously so. He's got the hat on the whole job. Look at that. Well, he's been confirmed. The world champion. Apollo Creed is going into the face of George Washington. He's throwing money. I don't remember when we were flying in, we were talking about George Washington and then throwing a dollar. Throwing a dollar. Of course, they'll throw a dollar those days and win a lot of fun. I was thinking I...
take that outfit first. <laughs> Expected 
is kind of hitting foul. Oh, no way. But you know what the ability of the champion opponent is around that. Shoot that. Apollo and Rory Lefty really tight him up against the ropes. Shoot that.
the wall. Let's go! 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 Let's go!